That, that, that is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Your boy Ernest back again with another Miami Heat Talk video today. That's right, two videos in one day. Y'all know I'd be spoiling you. So go ahead and show me some appreciation by clicking the like button and smashing the subscribe button. We're like 20, uh, 20 subscribers away from 4,000. Let's get that today, you guys. Now, we're gonna rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure, and boy, do I got a goodie for you. Because today, we talking about our man, the boy, Jimmy Hemi Butler, our guy. Now, um, a few things were reported about Jimmy Butler yesterday. Uh, I know we were talking about Kel L. Ware. I know we're all excited about drafting Kel L. Ware. What's Kel L. Ware gonna do for the Miami Heat? Is he gonna play next to Bam? You know, all this excitement's going on. But there was a report yesterday about Jimmy Butler that is very interesting. I mentioned it a little bit yesterday in the live feed, but I wanna talk about it today in full detail. It was reported yesterday by Sham Sharania, who was at the show, the stadium, yesterday, that Jimmy Butler is not going to sign a contract extension this offseason with the Miami Heat. But another thing that was interesting that came out was that Jimmy, Miami Heat's not looking to trade Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler has no interest in being traded to another team and signing a max extension. He's basically stated, I'm good in Miami. So... Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Butler will not sign a max extension this offseason. He will play next season with the Miami Heat. He will play under the final year of his contract. And it was also stated yesterday by Sham Sharania that Jimmy Butler is determined to have a career year next season. Per Sham Sharania, I'm told Jimmy Butler is absolutely determined to have a big season next year and set himself up for a major payday in the 2025 free agency. Ladies and gentlemen... Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> you know we have fun here in Miami Heat Talk, but look, guys, this is actually incredible news. Now, look, you could have Jimmy, you could have given Jimmy Butler the maximum contract extension, extended him for another year, and put that worry away. Because let's be honest. One of the disadvantages about not giving your player a maximum extension or not giving them an extension per se is that when they play the last year of the contract, it does give them the flexibility to leave you and go to another team. Um, NBA teams don't really do that a lot anymore. We've seen a lot of what NBA teams do. When a player is on the last year of the contract and you cannot agree to an extension, you trade the player. You send them somewhere else so you can get something back for them, like draft picks, young assets. The Miami Heat are looking to go old school here. I fully believe that Jimmy Butler's not leaving the Miami Heat. But I have mentioned this so many times, and yo, my God, yo, boy. I mean, I call myself a Miami Heat Nostradamus. I say it joking around, but I get proven over and over again that the stuff that I'm saying has merit. Because what was I saying this whole time, the whole month of June? If I'm Pat Riley in the Miami Heat, I do not give Jimmy Butler the contract extension unless it's performance and incentive based. You want this max extension, you got to play a certain amount of games, you have to make an all-star game, make an all-NBA team. Something like that. I was told by multiple people that work with the Heat that Jimmy Butler was not willing to do that. Jimmy Butler wanted his money and that was it. Well then I said let's do another option then. Don't give him the extension. You don't have to re-sign him until next year. If you give Jimmy Butler a maximum extension, you're basically rewarding him for taking all these games off during the regular season. We know this Miami T team need to do better in the regular season next year. So you need Jimmy Butler to play a minimum of 65 to 70 games. And look at that, 65 to 70 games. That's 17 to 12 games off during the regular season. I saw a 35-year-old Michael Jordan in 1998 play all 82 games. There's no excuses. We need Jimmy Butler to have that monster season for a few reasons. One, to help us the hell out. We need to have a better season. No more of this playing crap, bro. But secondly, you're not going to have Jimmy Butler play awesome in the regular season if he already has guaranteed money. What have I always said? 
When a player is on the final year of the contract, that's when they step up and they play their hardest to get their money. So now you don't have to worry about this until next year because let's throw a few scenarios. Let's say if Jimmy Butler busts his ass next season, leads the Miami Heat to an NBA championship and wins the title. We'll give him an extension as a thank you and just worry about what happens after that. But let's say the Miami Heat have a healthy season. Jimmy Butler plays. You go to the playoffs and you get bounced in the first or second round. Now you're going to have a better understanding of what to do. Do you want to extend Jimmy and continue this build? Or do you want to retool, reshape and do something different? You'll lose Jimmy Butler in free agency, but you'll have the peace of mind knowing that you'll get that finance off your books and that you can actually do something different with the team. Look guys, I know people have been in my comments recently this whole month about Jimmy Butler and some of the people are like, oh Ernest, you're disrespecting Jimmy Butler. Absolutely not. Back in 2019, I was a huge proponent on trading for Jimmy Butler. Some of the people that were watching ER Sports when me and my brother were doing this back in 2019, you guys remember that Jimmy was who I wanted. Jimmy was the guy that I said that would fit perfectly with the heat. It was a match made in heaven. Every year we've had Jimmy Butler, I've been a huge supporter of Jimmy. I love Jimmy. He's my guy. I think he's one of the guy that actually has the personality that fits Miami Heat culture. He's a dog. He's a bigger dog sometimes that maybe you can even question if he's a bigger dog than Dwayne Wade. He just has a different persona. It fits with the Miami Heat. I love him on this team. But one thing I don't want this Miami Heat team to do is do what we did with Kyle Lowry. And if you gave Jimmy Butler that extension this offseason with the way that he's played the last two regular seasons, not the playoffs. Let's take the playoffs off, you guys. We know that Jimmy Butler is an amazing playoff performer. But when you pay somebody about $50 million for a season to play 55 to 60 games, that's going to hurt you hugely. And then his age, he's going to be 35 years old. So now the Miami Heat can, can put this extension problem to the side and we can focus on what's important. And that's putting another year on that banner. If this Miami Heat team does not win a championship in this Jimmy Butler build, I'm not going to say that it was a failed experience because nobody thought that he can make the championship with Jimmy Butler as your best player. But what we've done. What we have done since 2020, the expectation has risen. So if you don't win a championship in the Jimmy Butler build, now it is considered a failed experience. So 2025 is the make it or break it year for this Miami Heat build. This could either be riding into the sunset, winning the championship and all of us being happy, or it's probably gonna tell us it's time for us to make a change. I'm really happy that the Miami Heat did not give Jimmy Butler the extension. I thought they were gonna. And you know what guys, I would have been okay with it. I'm not gonna disrespect Jimmy. I love Jimmy Butler. I love Jimmy Butler on this team. If the Heat were to extend him, I would have understood. Wouldn't have been the, best, like, the happiest about it, but I would have understood. Pay the man, he deserves it. It's just you don't wanna put yourself in a hole that a lot of these teams have done. You don't want to put yourself in a hole like we did with Kyle Lowry. It didn't work out. I'm not saying that's going to happen with Jimmy. I'm just saying financially, you can't put yourself in holes, especially in the Bam Adebayo build. You just gave him an extension. You got to build correctly around him. So this year in 2025, we're going to get our answer. Do we continue keeping Jimmy with Bam or is it time to move on from Jimmy? It sucks. It sucks because if you lose Jimmy, you don't get anything for him. You don't get draft picks. You don't get young assets. But you know what, you guys? I'm willing to risk that if that means not having to guarantee him for another year and seeing what happens there. So I want to hear from you, Heat fans. What do you think about these rumors? What do you think about people saying that Jimmy Butler is going to have the best season of his career? Do you think this is going to be the best regular season of Jimmy Butler's Miami Heat career? Or do you think Jimmy Butler is going to do the same thing? Plays 55 to 60 games. Do you think that this Miami Heat team currently built with Kel L. Ware, Jimmy Butler playing like a beast during the regular season, being it's the last year of our contract, and adding another player with the $5.2 million mid-level exception. Maybe it's Russell Westbrook. Maybe it's Jonas Valanciunas. Who knows? Let's see what happens. How do you feel about this Heat team going into next season, you guys? And we got free agency around the corner.
Stuff can happen. Trades can happen. Let me know what you think, Heat fans, in the comments. Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Very glad I'm able to spoil you guys with the second video today. I hope you enjoy this, you guys. Enjoy your day. More videos coming. And that is enough said. Yeah, buddy.